Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan for episode 15 with me, Mr. Sealy P. As you can see, we're still in May 1 and the rain has stopped. Bad decision? Mm, to know. Seems to be swinging sort of 50 50 ish. However, the bad decision on the choice of colour for my tractor. Regardless, I've changed it. I just made another change as well. My Great Plains uh, cedar slash planter it was on trailer attach. I've now swapped over so it's on three point, which gives me a little bit more extension, a bit more rotation, and I've put the tractor in case red. I just, it just, it didn't look right. It just didn't look right. And the front loader I've switched over as well to case red now. The contracts, as you've seen, I had, I had one small one for fertilising. Field 31 is now done as well, so we're up to 63,206. Not mega money, but we've got some money. But what I sort of did was when I did the contract on field one, you'll see when I get over there, my field that I'm going to put flax in, I kind of went across part of my field. The reason will become obvious, it probably already is obvious to some people, but it will become obvious when we go over there. I'm just going to put some more seed in, just to top this up. I don't know how much it's going to require. There we go. Topped off. Close that. I have to say though, I, it, looks, it looks way better in red, doesn't it? Of course it does. I love it. I'm a very happy bunny. So, we had a bit of an issue. Well, there were no mods yesterday. I'm recording this Friday, although I don't know when this portion of the video, um, it may not be till Sunday now, I don't know. Um, our internet dropped completely. So it was kind of lucky there was no mods on Thursday because the internet just went out, we had nothing. So uh, it was a bit of an issue. But when we get to here, I will show you what I mean. This will need to be rolled, it will then need to be um, limed for pH and nitrogen for uh, our fertiliser, but let's open it up. While that's opening up, I'll show you the strip by the side of the sheep, because it was quite narrow, I said I could use um, the smaller seed that I've kept for doing a narrow strip like that. But because I was doing fill one this side anyway, when I got to here, I just swung across and I did, because it was flax I was doing in this field anyway. So using my wide cedar, you'll see there'll be a strip here, look. I just swung out wide here. So I did part of my field and part of their field. And I flaxed up here. All the way up the side. And then I curved back in again and carried on with fill one. So this portion is already done. Because I, I nearly thought, well, okay, I don't need to do anything now. We'll go into um, May 2, possibly even into June. See if we get any more contracts come up. And then suddenly remembered I hadn't planted the rest of this field. So I'm going to be flaxing this. And like I say, then we'll do the nitrogen. We'll do the, um, the pH level. We'll get those balanced. And we should be good to go. Um, am I going to do more bales? Potentially. That new fast bale that came out the other day. When was it? Monday. I didn't do a mod review Monday. Um, last Monday, that is. I might. Because I bought the Gavile here, and I bought all of the grass here, and we ran it through and put it automatically into the, the silo. It's the uh, bale storage. What I might do next time, I might get a mower set up, a mower, wind rower, baler, using that ultimate bale package maybe. And I might just drive around all the periphery, the verges, my field, and bale in situ. So as we go, we'll leave bales behind. Then we'll go and collect them all up and bring them up into storage. I know I didn't make mega money doing the silage bales, but at the moment, other than putting in more of these, until crops have grown, I haven't got an income stream. So, yeah, I guess it will be, you know, <laughs> we'll think of something. 
I'm back to the Griffin Indiana thing, aren't I? When everyone said it should all be on hard, it should, it should you know, for some reason people want to see me suffer. <laughs> um, we don't want you cheating and that kind of stuff. And that, I, that's fine, absolutely no problem at all. If you want it more realistic, and that's great. But then the flip side of that is people get bored because there's nothing to watch. Because <laughs> if I haven't got any jobs to do, what do we do? So the season sort of thing is holding it up. The things I can do to make money, people then don't want to watch. So I don't know. I'll find something. The rock picking worked out really well, but I ran out of that. I thought I would do weeding, but then that, yeah, didn't happen. So I thought oh, that'd be a good one. I'll go around all everyone's fields, do loads of weeding, we'll make a load of money. But nope. So yeah, fingers crossed on the fertilising. Maybe we'll get some more fertilising jobs. Earn a bit of money that way. So I definitely need to buy another field. I'm happy to skip ahead. I'm happy to jump forward to harvest season. Um, but I was really hoping to have our own... I mean, we'll have this one, have flax in it, but... A bigger flax field, because I want to have a go at the... Um, swathing. I haven't done the swathing yet. What, went a bit wide on that one. Yeah, I want to go at swathing. Because that's what you can do on here, and I haven't done that yet, because I haven't got my own field. It won't let you swath on a contract field. Because all it wants you to do is harvest. And by using the swather, it's... I'm sure it was 20%, isn't it? 20% bonus in yield we can get. I think. We'll give it all a try. Plus, I need the money to get another harvester. I'm going to need a bigger harvester. It may mean this year round I lease, potentially. Yeah. I'll go around all the outsides first got a few bits like this where it will overlap a little bit but it's not too bad yeah so I'll get this done and then uh, hopefully this will allow me to do some fertilizing like I said the lentils it didn't which threw me a little bit so I'm hoping for the flax it will but that'll be again it'll be another test to see I'll set it on automatic application rate so it should do if it's gonna let me but who knows? Oh, got a sheep. I want to hit the sheep with a cedar. Excuse me. Hello. Huh? Are the sheep likely to wander in and eat the flax? No, of course not. They wouldn't dream of it. I'll speak to Jeremy. Jeremy, keep me in line. Wherever Jeremy is. Jeremy. Oh, there he is over there. Very happy. Very happy. Don't lay down. I'll wait for the sheep to go and I shall carry on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice. There we go. Go on. You trot.
While I was just rolling my field of flax, it suddenly dawned on me my rock picking venture that worked really well working for the county. I did mulching as well, didn't I? It was the first one. Mulching, uh, yeah. Well, it was weeding kind of, but I used the mulcher originally. Then the rock picking. What about rolling? So I had a look, and to be fair, there's only four fields that need rolling. Interestingly, but the last two I did, field one and field 31, need rolling. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to get in touch with the uh, Chamber of Commerce, find out if that's something I could do, if they're happy with that and they're happy to pay me to do it, or the local farmers are. What I'm going to whiz down, and what I'm going to do is whiz down, I've got my roller there, but I'm going to get the larger one, the mega roll, so I've got a bigger tractor as well. I mean, to be fair, my quad track will, will pull the mega roll, I know that already, and I'm going to do rolling on both those fields. That should give me a nice bit of a uh, bit of money back into the bank account. Hopefully, we'll see what time it gets dark. But before we roll into May two, I'm not sure when I'll see you next. Maybe in June, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Um, there may be a little bit of a, a short clip of me using the mega roll, doing a bit of rolling. I wanted to jump on it now. I thought I'd skip ahead to May two and do it. But I was worried if I skipped ahead to May 2 and the farmers had done it themselves or someone else had got the contract to do it, you never know, then I wouldn't be able to do that. So, you know. Turn the lights off. Let's go and get the mega roll.
We're into May 2. It's nearly quarter past seven in the morning. I have got my plough on the front, a trailer on the back. We are going to a secret location. When I say secret, it is possibly kind of overlooked, I guess. Um, I had said I was going to do potatoes. I was going to buy a field, I was going to do some potatoes. I was going to do flax, which are done, and I said I'll probably buy a flax field. As you can see, and as you've already seen, I did those contracts that I said about for the municipality. So we go that way. Both of those now have been rolled. These two can't be rolled because they've got crops in them. I say they've got crop. Uh, not. I mean, what I mean is they've they've got growing crops in them. You plant your crops, then you roll. You can roll them, plant your crops, then roll again if you want to. Um, so yeah, they had just been planted by me. Crops hadn't come through the ground yet, so they needed rolling. These did need rolling, but now there's crops growing, so you can't roll once the crops are in the ground, so they can't be done. Anyway, so. I then thought, oh, I forgot about potatoes. And if we go to here, you'll see that May, we come to the end pretty much of most planting. If we come down, we can do olives, we can do poplar, grass, there's a couple of others. Um, we're out of peas and season, uh, peas and lentil season already. Flax, we just got done. But if I want to do potatoes, I need to get them done. If it's going to June, we're out of planting season. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll just I'll buy a field that's got something in it already. But that, I mean, yeah, it's perfectly, there's nothing wrong with that at all. You can, of course you can. You can just cultivate in the crop that started to grow if you wanted to. But in my scouring around the map looking for a plot of land, I found a plot. And because potatoes yield pretty well normally, I don't need a huge amount of land for doing potatoes because we should get a fair bit. Now, I'm going to have to do a little bit of tree removal. I've done some wood chipping already using the Gens, BA725. But I'm going to use the Devourer. But unlike you normally use it, I'm going to kind of use it like a wood chipper. You'll see what I mean. So we're going to come down to here. And we're going to turn in just here. Now, th this is I'm taking a little bit of a punt here on one aspect of this. And you'll see what I mean. Let's stop there, hop out, and have a look. So, we've got the cell point just here, but we've got this field here. I say field. Now, it's fenced in. Now, I'm hoping, like my other field was, once I've purchased this, I'll be able to remove the fence. If I can't remove the fence, I might have a bit of a problem. But it's got some trees on it, and the river runs behind it, as does the railway. Now, I'm not going to remove all the trees, but I do need to remove some of these. Now I'm not going to get, I don't think I'm going to get wood chips off these, but I can remove them. A couple of these, I, th I just need to move them back a little bit to give me a bit of space here. But, if I jump the fence and we go across the other side. Now these two are linked, you buy them both together. So we've got a plot over here, which has got a lot of bushes in it, but no trees. And no fence either. So what I'm going to do is plough it. I will... Um, take the stones out like I said it's not a huge plot but I don't need a lot of you don't need a big plot of potato I mean you can do if you want to do an absolutely massive field of potatoes you absolutely can but if we are going to move forward and do pigs and you know we'll look at different ways of, of doing our pig food this might just be enough so if we go to here we are currently let's go back to that we're currently here so got this plot here and this plot here if I click on that 11,992. That's all. It's going to require a bit of clearing. But I thought, you know what? Let's do it. So, I'm going to plough this first. Um, I'm, I don't know how far out I'm going to be able to come, actually. I need to check that again. What bit we own? This one. Right up to the road. This one. We've got a bit of a boundary. Because I thought I might get the grass here as well. So I might get a bit of extra space. But I think we go pretty much to here. This side though right to here. But the telegraph poles might be an issue. Can't take those out with the mulcher. Now the next thing is. Can I take this, this fence out? Because that will make life a lot easier if I can. So yeah like I say what we'll do. We'll get the um, plough going on that one. We'll get that done. Then I'm going to go back to the store, grab the devourer. I'm going to chop down a couple of these trees. 
we'll wood chip a few bits. It's not going to be a huge amount of wood chips. It doesn't matter. It's just to, to clear them off the site. And we'll have potatoes on both. That's my dastardly plan for today. So, if we go into here... Please work. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. That's interesting. What did it do? There we go. It'll just give me access. It'll be a little bit easier for moving vehicles around. I think I'll probably do... I'm, I'm sure... Actually, if I go and stand by the fence here, it'll give me an idea, because it runs down that way. If we go back and check here... Yeah, that's right on the boundary. So I will remove that. So yeah, I'll get that done, and then we'll get the ploughing done over there. Um, I won't start ploughing this one until I've removed some of the trees, so we'll get that done. And then I'm going to grab one of the GL... Actually, I might as well lease it now while we're here. While we're talking about it. Uh, I could go for that one, the compactor. I could go for... There's this one as well, the multi. Um, that one you can do sugarcane, you can do poplar. No, I did say about doing poplars as well, didn't I? I didn't do them. That might have to be next season now, I think. Maybe... But I'm just doing potatoes. I might as well just go with the standard one. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Let's lease that. What I'm also going to do... You can do seeds or potatoes. Again, if you're new to the game. If you're not, you know this already. But if you're new to the game and you're unaware, you can just put seeds in that. And I've got seed available. I can do that. You can, if there are pallets of potatoes available, or you've got potatoes from your previous harvest, you can put potatoes in. I'm sure we've got one of these as potatoes, isn't it? I've gone past it. There you go, potato pallet. So you can put potatoes in. So if you've got potatoes available, or you can buy some. How many am I going to need? Let's get two of those. Do you know something I haven't tried and something that dawned on me? I know it's a bit dodgy and I know it was something that FS19 kind of threw up and I don't know if it still works. I'm going to have to try it at some point. Sugarcane. Now sugarcane, you buy in pallets like this and if you don't like cheating, if you don't like you know something a little bit dicey, as you can see there, normal seeds, 950 for 1,050 litres. There are loads of different options and ways of doing seed and making your own and that kind of stuff. But sugarcane always used to be the case that for 380, you're getting 2,000 litres. So double that for 380. Um, but if you get yourself, if you lease a sugarcane planter, put that into a sugarcane planter and then unload the sugarcane planter, it never used to unload the sugarcane pallets. It would just unload a seed. So you could buy that, load it into a sugarcane planter, unload it again, and you could get seed much cheaper. It's, it is, yeah, I use the word nefarious a lot, um, and it is rather. No, I can't remember if I actually leased either of those things or bought them. Yeah, I think I did, yeah. That's what's showing there. Uh, and I need to get the devourer as well. So, see you in a minute. I'm just going to get the rest of this fencing out. Get the ploughing done. This video, this particular episode, has been recorded in multiple chunks <laughs> over the last couple of days. And you know what the weird thing about this is? What made me suddenly remember about this? We were driving back from the Lake District yesterday. So this has been now recorded the last bit, Monday, to be posted. I started recording this Saturday. So, yeah, it was, you know, anyway. Uh, we're driving back. We saw loads of areas where potato planting was happening. Um... I'd never actually seen it happening in real life. I've seen potato fields and that kind of stuff, but um, we stopped a couple of times. I was talking to Mr. CDP about it. And while we were watching it, and I was explaining how it works and that kind of stuff, I suddenly thought, hang on a minute, I was supposed to be doing that. It, it was just such a strange situation that it should occur that way, and because otherwise I would have completely forgotten. So we shall allow creation of fields. These fields aren't necessarily going to be straight, but 
we'll do our best. I think I might go around those, you know. Now, how close to the railway can we get here? So I was thinking as well while we're doing this, if the train is still running, at some point while we're doing this, it should appear, shouldn't it? Because I'm starting to get a bit freaked out by this. Now the question is... Oh, hang on. You know what? That didn't even dawn on me. We can clear all these. We can go a bit further in. Oh, that's a little bit different. I hadn't... I, in my head, for some reason, just thought the field went as far as here. I thought this was the map edge, but it's not. We've got, actually, quite a bit more room. That's where the tractor is. Probably the same again. Ah. Okay, well, we're going to get a bit more wood chip than we thought. That's good. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the wood chip yet, but... Oh, maybe I don't need to worry about where the telegraph poles are, then. I thought I would, but actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. That yeah, could be a little bit straight there, can't it? Okay, well, yeah, the wood chip inside of things is going to be a bit more uh, important now to get this complete. Hmm. We'll see what happens when we actually come to harvest, of course, but I don't see why it won't work. Okay, I need to go and get and that's what I did at least. I said about getting the um potato plant and getting the potatoes and didn't get the devourer. Again, how you choose to uh, remove trees. There are loads of different options. So what I'll do... And as I've said, using the devourer, um, I can kind of go with a semi-realistic approach to it, or not. It's kind of, it's basically a mulcher, but it... it will wood chip at the same time. You've seen me use it before. If you've followed me for a while, you've seen me use it before. So, um, we'll grab it. Or you can use it like a regular wood chipper in that you can have it running on the tractor and you can cut down trees with a chainsaw, or I've got the axe, but I can get a chainsaw, and throw them into it, onto it, if you wanted to, again, to give you some semblance of you know, how it works. I can't remember how much the compactor holds. We might as well fill that while we're here. Okay. Potatoes are going in. Now, I, I do remember from the last time I did potatoes that potatoes are usually fairly heavy on um, on application rate flow rate the question is because um, I'm creating my own fields the, the soil map should go across the whole map I need to do some um, sampling one I just to make sure I can get the right rate for potatoes okay we've got a little bit left over that's good Let's devour. Boom, boom, boom. 
one of the times I'm going to come up to here and we're going to get the right spot. There we go. Uh, so we want forestry. There we go. Standard is fine. Configuration, real or unreal. I'd rather go with the spout because it feels more like a wood chipper, which is. But that's weird though. It will still work like that. With the capacity, and it will still unload. It's weird that it adds a hundred grand on just to have the spout. Oh, I'll do it. Doesn't matter. Let's make it so we can see it. It will all be worth it in the end, he says. Once I actually spend some time trying to find some stuff to do with my wood chips. The thing is, like most stuff, I haven't got a huge amount of money at the moment. And, um. Pipe out. I'll take the uh, planter over as we go as well. The, um. I've done wood pellets. I've, I've said this before, I know I have, but done wood pellets a lot and the wood pellets work really well but any of the facilities that you 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 might look at for doing something with wood chips the same as any of the productions I guess the facilities themselves are quite expensive you need that initial investment and you need to know that your return will exceed that investment to make your money back um, the wood pellets absolutely when I did them on Griffin Indiana Wow yeah, I mean, we, we more than made our money back on doing that. So it's finding something that will make you enough money. So I will have a bit of a look around, but anyway. We'll just pop this here for the moment. Now, it may also be thought that I'm using my new tractor quite a lot. It's new, of course, it is. it's exciting. And that I might not use my older ones as much anymore. I will still use the other ones, don't you worry. So what we'll do... I say these smaller ones, I don't think we can... I don't think we can chop these. I think we'll have to use the sort of mulching attachment on this. But what we can do, if we want to go a bit more realistic, like I say, you don't have to, of course you don't. The good thing with that devourer is we can take out the stumps as well with it. That's what I should be able to do. There might not be any actual wood chips in it to turn it on. Lower it for once. Then what I should be able to do. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit of something out of it. So yeah, if you want to go sort of a little bit more sort of semi-realistic with it, Bit of brush cutting, throw it through the chipper. Yeah, we've got a little bit. But if you want to, you can just drive it at something. But these will be removed. I don't, I say, I don't think we'll get any wood chips from these. But it will get rid of them. There you go. So no wood chips, and we can remove them. So for slightly trickier stuff. And this is what I've said before when I do um, when I do map tours. If you've got a map that's got a lot of trees on it and you don't want to do forestry, you don't have to. You know, there are plenty of tools like this. You can just remove the trees, clear yourself a bit of space, and it does them like so really quickly as well. And then when you've got a stump, you can find where that stump is. I'll take the tray down. 
Oh, there it is. A tiny little bit there. There it is. It's gone. Oh, there it is. Normally, I can do this. There we go. Stump removed. Easy as that. Chipper, and I can continue now. Obviously, I wasn't anticipating having to clear all those trees over there. I, I didn't, yeah, didn't cross my mind. It's going to take a bit of time now, so I, yeah, I'm going to clear a few of these back and I'll plough this as well. I'll go over there. I don't know how many wood chips we'll get, but whatever wood chips we get, I'll take over and I'll store with the other ones I got when I cleared the trees. Um, I thought I'd get a lot more than I did up at the main farm so yeah we'll clear that clear that cloud stones removed yeah we've got a bit to do It's 9.37, I've got a bit done, took a while, I'm not going to lie, I had a very strange thing happen. Uh, as I was clearing the trees this side, I've cleared the trees that side, I've got one tree that's floating, but we are ploughed out now on that side and the trees are removed. You'll see when we do the planting, it's not a bad size actually. I've sent off soil samples, if we go to here. So I've got a saw some back from that because that's ploughed out. But because these are joined and the numbers between the two, I think once I've ploughed this out, it should reset itself with the soil sampling for this. I think it only came in at um, five, yeah, 525 for the soil samples. So we should be okay on this one once it's cleared. But the weird thing was, I was throwing logs into the, the um, devourer, the chipper, and I went to cut a tree down. And when you do up... And you get your jet wash, chainsaw, whatever you got. I couldn't get that to work at all. It was like my, my jet wash, my, my axe had been stolen. Um, I had to kind of have a break and come back. Once I came back after my break, um, they were back again. It was very odd. I, I don't know why it did it, but anyway, yeah, it did. So, uh, second field. This is one's going to be a little bit smaller. I've cleared down to the creek just here. It just runs to here, really, but I'm going to follow the edge of the creek. Leave those trees that side. I do own that bit, but we'll leave that there. It's a bit of a shield for that. While I, I've, uh, wood chip wise, I've taken one full load. Now that devourer holds 50,000 litres itself, plus the trailer of 30,000. So I took 80,000 litres back up to the farm to store. On top of the 38,000, I think we had up there from before. While I was up there, I thought, right, I've got the devourer, I've got my, my um, axe. The reason I went up there originally, I was going to clear some of those trees back to give myself more room at the yard. You'll see either later in this episode or in the next one or whatever, I'll show you up there. I've cleared a few trees back so we've got a bit more space up there. I might put another Quonset um, barn in or an open barn possibly because all my equipment at the moment is just out in the open. So I, I want to, if I can, do that. That's the plan. Yeah, so... Oh, hang on. There we go. So I've got... Yeah, one full open up and that trailer is now sitting, I think I've got, with that and the devourer, 33,000 litres to go up. And that's all of the um, wood chipping situation sorted. So I don't want to go too close to, to the edge, but follow the side of it. about there, just a little bit wider. There we go. So 
Swing that around. Come a little bit closer to the telegraph poles. Because I took the fence out, I've got a bit of room to come in from the end, so it doesn't matter if I go closer to the telegraph pole. There we go. I'm not going to get many stones off this. I'm still using the um, the municipality, the municipal um, rock picker. That belongs to them. I just use it when I was doing the rock picking jobs for them. But I am paying that um, that deduction is coming out every day for the use of that. It's kind of like a leasing fee, just not as expensive, is it? It's not a bad little plot, this, for just over 11 grand. I say it's taking me a little while to clear the trees, but once done, things like sugar beet and potatoes that are quite high yielding that don't require a lot of space. I mean, I could have put poplars in these, in all honesty. There are some other small plots. I mean, if we look across uh, two, yeah, that's part one. So that one there, plot 45. 26 grand, it's not too bad. Plot 44, actually that's only 19. That's not bad, is it? Well, that little one there, 23. Just thinking actually, I wonder. What's that got in at the moment? It's that oats, isn't it? But I said I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna go over a, what's that one? 33. Hmm. I might be able to do some poplars at some point. That's only 15. There are some cheap plots available. So what I was really hoping was... That's now showing as a field on there. But I'm not getting anything coming up. Do I have to purchase again? Because they're technically the same plot. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, well at least I've got the soil information now. So if I put in potatoes in, it should adjust the... Um, the variable seed rate should be fine. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get the rocks off this. I think the rocks off that one, I think I've got about 500 litres. It's just next to nothing, but I'll get rid of them. And then what I'll do, I'll take the plough and the wood chips back. We'll get those um, stored away. Then I'll get back and we'll get the potatoes in the ground. And then it'll be the same procedure as I've done before. I'll have to do a bit of lime. I'm still convinced that lime can be done now. Because the lime is to do with the soil, not to do with the crop. But it doesn't. The last couple I've done, I've put the crop in, then done the lime in, and it's been fine because the crop hasn't emerged at that point. And then I've um, nitrogened over the top of it, so I'll, I'll, I'll do it that way around. Yeah, yeah. It's all good.
I'm heading back down. We're going to get the potatoes in the ground now. It's funny how one job you didn't think you were going to do leads into another job you didn't think you were going to do. Oh, that was the other thing I was thinking. While I was driving and I said about the train not coming, I guess the thing to do would be to rent a train and test it and see if the train appears. Um, it might not, it might just not be running regularly, but you can call it. I haven't tested it yet, but anyway. So, yeah. So, I had the... Um, the devourer so i thought while i had it i like I said i cleared a few of the trees up at the farm and then it suddenly dawned on me and i don't know why i didn't think about doing it before our field here has got that weird sort of shape to it i put the sheep in here so the sheep have got a bit of forest there forest some trees i've taken a few of the trees out but not all of them there so i've still got some shade and stuff in the summer when it gets really hot but here, I cleared all the trees out. And I don't know why I didn't think of doing it before. So next time, once we've done the harvest, what we can do is plough that right way around there. So that becomes a bit more sort of solid again. Um, which has given me some more wood chips to put into storage up at the main farm. So I did that. While I was doing that, we got the great demand for fish come up. So you've just seen... Yeah, just seen me deliver those. And delivering that. And the cotton that we had. I and mean, we're not back up to where we were, but we're not far off having leased the various different bits of equipment and bought the potatoes for doing this. Now I'm not sure, let's unfold this. Like I say, how much it's gonna take. We've got 200 liters left that we can go and get and we can buy another pallet if we need to buy another pallet. And as far as variable seed rate goes, not available for potatoes. Oh, okay, I didn't know that was a thing. It'll just be on this. I suppose, yeah, it wouldn't adjust, would it? It's just putting potatoes in the ground, isn't it? Drop it down. Let's get it done. The other thing that always seems very peculiar to me now, with the extra things we can do with, with um, rolling and stuff like that, is if I stop now and we go to our map, and we go to <laughs> maybe it doesn't then I thought I did when was the last time I did potatoes I thought I rolled after I did potatoes last time because I, I, my head was saying no because you've got those lovely the whole point is the potatoes grow in these peaks it's no different if you're doing your garden in an old tyre or a bucket or something like that. You, you pile the earth up around it, the potatoes grow in those piles. So it seemed a bit weird to then come over it, roll it and flatten it all back out again. I could have sworn I had. Oh, well. <laughs> More of the same from Mr. City B. <laughs> Brain has gone, right. So, our hidden carbs. It's like when people talk about um, carving, or they say about um, like making statues when you're uh, stonemasons. It was there all along, all you're doing is removing stuff to reveal what's inside, and we've done exactly the same thing. There were trees here, there were bushes here. It wasn't technically a field at that point. The carbs were always there. We just had to reveal everything. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about, but we're getting them in, that's the main thing, and just in time as well before we head into June. So I guess what I'll do, like I said about not having a, a steady income per se, is we'll um, We'll have a look. I'm, I'm definitely going to have a look at the wood chip situation. Now I've got more wood chips. When I had 38,000 acres, I thought, well, you know, the, the thing about it is I could buy something and produce something that's going to cost me more money. And I've only got 38,000 litres, so what's the point? But now I think we're probably up over 200,000 litres, I would think. So it's a bit more of a, a doable proposition, you know. It, you think, actually, we could do something with this. These, uh, yeah, I'm not doing these right, am I? I should just be going forwards and matters. The lines will line up later. Yeah, I'll just go this way and that way. I could end up with way more here. That's a 
point I've just thought. Oh, but I don't think I can unload from this. Hang on, let's just double check something. Oh no, that's probably what I thought about it before. You can't unload the seed from this. Because those pallets from the lot, um, there's not a seed one. I suddenly thought, oh, if I've got any left over, I'll just unload it. And that'll unload a seed, but you can't unload it. Anything left in here is lost. To the potato gods. The gods of starch. Although I've still got a bit of money, I think that one of those fields I was on about buying the flax fields, I think one of them was 90 odd grand, so I've got enough money if I wanted to at this point, I could buy one of them. It leaves me a little bit short for anything else I need to do, assuming between now and harvest no other contracts come up. I'm trying to think, what was I on the other day? Oh, mind you, I think it might have been part of the map, so I'm sure there was a biomass plant. I don't think it was a separate mod that you could take wood chips and straw to and the, one of the byproducts as well as heat was um, fertiliser which wouldn't be a bad one because I've got straw and we've got wood chips but I, like I say, I'm not sure it's um, available as a mod I think it was specific to a map I'll have a look We'll get a few potatoes off here. They'll go into storage and they'll feed pigs if we do pigs and then I'll probably have enough left over if I want to replant for the following year. So as long as we've got enough to feed the pigs for a year and then we'll roll through the cycle for the next year we can do that. will be golden. So the same as I've done before, as I've just mentioned or already said, next step will be pH, then nitrogen, we'll get those done. But I'll do those off camera because you've seen me do those before. I've got plenty of lime in my lime production up at the farm. I think I've still, I'm sure I've got fertilizer left. If not, I can buy some more, but it would be nice to get to that point again, like I did on Western Wilds, where I'm, I was trying to get myself self-sufficient. So I was producing my own seed, producing my own fertiliser, so I wouldn't be reliant on buying anything. Even though I can buy it cheaply, I'd rather be self-sufficient with it if I can. But there we go. So, potatoes are going in. That's been quite productive, actually. We've got a fair bit done. I'm happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.